What's up everybody? It is summertime and we're about to pull out our little shorts and our cute little dresses. So I know I want my body to not only look great, but to feel great, silky smooth and all that good stuff. So we're about to create a DIY body scrub. You literally can get these ingredients at the grocery store or better yet, they might already be in your house. Thanks to Chic Hydro Silk for sponsoring this video. Here we go, let's do it. You guys are going to love this scrub. It's amazing and super easy to make. But before I get into the ingredients, we definitely wanna make sure that we prep our skin. Guys, in the summertime, nobody wants stubbly legs. And this is a key. Did you know that if you actually scrub your legs after you shave, you won't get ingrown hairs? You know I love a good drugstore find, so I am currently obsessed. I love, love, love the Chic Hydro Silk 5 Razor. You guys, this literally leaves my legs Super smooth, I'm just gonna put some shave gel on here. I feel like I should write my name, A-D-R-I. Okay, let me not get crazy. Okay, so I love this because you guys, this is like the perfect prep for your skin. You definitely wanna make sure that you are silky smooth, which this leaves my legs so smooth. It really gives like a close shave and it leaves them super clean. If this doesn't make you feel confident, I don't know what will. Especially like not just on the beach, but when I get into the bed with my husband, there's nothing better than like feeling in between the sheets like my silky smooth legs, like yes. Or when you're wearing a pair of shorts and your friend goes like this to you and you're like, no, 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 baby, I didn't shave today. This fixes that problem. You'll be like, oh, rub my leg all you want. It gives you that kind of confidence that you need, especially in the summertime. So this is how we're going to prep our skin. And then like I said before, the body scrub definitely will stop you also from getting any ingrown hairs. I love that. I actually learned that from a model, one of my girlfriends that was a model back in the day. She would shave her legs every day and I'm like, how do you not get ingrown hair? She's like, girl, you just exfoliate them really well. And it not only makes your legs feel amazing, but you guys, it actually brings a shine to your legs. Imagine it being freshly shaved and then you exfoliate, it brings this beautiful shine to your legs. That's perfect for the summertime. So normally I'd be doing this in the shower, but that would be inappropriate. Let me know if any of you guys actually shave your legs at your vanity. All right, so I did a little quick job here. Got those nice and silky smooth. Gonna wipe this down. So now that my skin is prepped, we're gonna move on to the body scrub. Okay, am I the only girl that loves doing DIY beauty products at home? Let me know in the comments below if you're like me and if you wanna see more of like my DIY beauty stuff. So what I love about this is one, not only is it super affordable, you probably have all these things in your home already, like I said, but it's beautiful. It looks really pretty, especially when you put it in a mason jar. It looks beautiful just even sitting in your bathroom. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is add some sugar, white sugar, try not to make a mess. Okay. So the awesome thing about using sugar, especially refined white sugar like this is that it ex it's actually what's gonna be exfoliating your legs and your body, but it's super small granulated pieces, so it's not harsh on your skin. Just saying, I love the idea of using bigger, chunkier raw sugar, but that might be way too harsh on your skin. So this is a bit smoother. Trust me, it is super effective, and it's definitely gonna make your skin smooth. Now we are going to add coconut oil. Now I love to get the virgin coconut oil from the grocery store that you cook with, which is actually initially hard. So I just put it in the microwave for like 15 to 30 seconds. That's about enough right there. And then from there, we are now going to break up rose petals. You can actually use any kind of flower that you might have at home. I think it just makes it beautiful. And for me, rose, is my favorite, it's my favorite flower. You guys know I love me some white roses, but I love this beautiful color in here as well. And these actually came from my own rose garden in my backyard, and it's gonna look so beautiful. You can actually even feel it inside of a rose. The rose water and the oil that comes out of here is insane and it's super hydrating for your skin. It feels so silky and velvety. It also, oh my God, it smells so delicious. People always ask me like, what are my hobbies? I say doing nothing, but this is a part of my doing nothing. This is like one of my favorite things to do, just sit here and create. Because I feel like once you're done with it, you're like, what, I made that? Next, we are actually going to add lemons to the mixture. Now you're probably wondering like, why would you ever put lemons on your legs after shaving them? Guys, first of all, it's antibacterial and antiseptic, so that's one part, but it also, like I try to think of like almost like an aftershave. 
you get that little tingle, but at the same time, it is also a natural bleach, especially for the summertime. I don't know about you, but my knees and my elbows tend to get a little bit darker, so I really love what the lemon does for lightening those areas, and it really makes your skin glow. But it definitely is something you could either add to this or leave out of it. I'm gonna add it. You can use as much or as little lemon as you think would work for you. Again, when I was a little girl, my grandmother would put me in the tub and actually just put a little bit of lemon juice directly onto my elbows and my knees in the summer because they became hyperpigmentated from being in the sun too long and that just naturally was how my body was. So just to have a completely even skin complexion and even skin tone, uh, we're adding a little bit of lemon in there. Now we are going to mix this up like so. We might actually need a little bit more of the coconut oil, which I'm gonna add in a second. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. I'm gonna add just a little bit more oil. And back to mixing. How pretty does that look? Oh my gosh. This is like rose coconut lemon heaven. Obviously, this would make for a really boring video if I broke down the rest of these roses, but I feel like I definitely could have added more roses to it, but that'd be really boring to you guys just watch me doing this for like another 20 minutes. But I find this super relaxing in real life, like put some TV on or some good music, just chill and daydream. This looks so good. Okay, so then I get in the shower with this and I literally apply this everywhere mainly on my elbows, again, on my knees, also my neck, because I suffer from hyperpigmentation in my neck as well. So I'll give that a really, really good scrub, and then I'll sit with it for like five to 10 minutes in the shower to really let that soak in. Rinse off. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Then you'll rinse off, and from there, I've got another really cool little magical potion that we're gonna create. Hold, please. I need to rinse my hands. Okay, so once you've shaved your legs, you've exfoliated your body, now here's another secret to having amazing glowy skin is creating your own shimmer mist. You probably have all of these things in your house already. If you have any natural flowers in your house, you definitely can do it. Like I said, I have roses that grow in my backyard, so I'm going with roses. Oh my God, these are really wet from morning dew. Wow. Okay, but instead of plucking this one, I've got still these flowers left over from the last one. So I am going to place these in some water and we're actually gonna start by creating our own rose water. We are going to break up these leaves. Again, try to get all that goodness out of the inside of them. So you definitely wanna muddle your rose petals into the water and place it overnight so that you absorb all of the amazing benefits that the roses have to offer. Pour this water into a small container like this. You guys can get this anywhere from like the 99 cent store to Michael's. They've got all these cute little containers like so. Something to that effect. We need a funnel, clearly. Shake that up like so. Now we've got ourselves some rose water and what we're gonna add to the rose water is highlighter. So if you have a loose highlighter that comes like in a little jar, that would be amazing for this. If you don't have a loose highlighter, you can actually create your own by taking a highlighter. Guys, I took like a 99 cent one that was super inexpensive and I crushed it up right here. I'm gonna use a spoolie to mush it up like this. You guys don't know what a spoolie is. It's like the thing that you like brush your eyebrows with or your eyelashes. Kinda looks like a mascara wand. All right, so now that I've crushed this up pretty well, I'm now gonna try to grab some of it and place it inside of the bottle. And again, you can add as much as you want or as little as you want. You guys know I like to OD on a good bronzy effect, so I'm gonna put a lot. And you even can use it as a finishing spray for your makeup as well if you want like that overall shimmer look. Okay, so now I'm gonna even use this to Mix that up, close it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay, and then it'll ultimately look like that, voila. Doesn't that just look so pretty? You can see all the gold flakes. Now we're gonna open it, and I'm gonna show you guys what it's gonna look like. Okay, you might not be able to see this on the camera, but there's like little fine gold flakes. Again, you can use this to refresh your makeup. Yes. 
for your body. And again, it'll give you a really glowing look. But again, it's not over the top. It's super simple. And there's just something so satisfying about using a product that you created yourself. I'm like, yes made this myself and I get to brag to my friends. Let me know if I'm the only one in the comments below and let me know if you enjoyed checking out some of my favorite DIY beauty products like the body scrub and our bonus little rose water glow moment. Thank you so much to Chic Hydro Silk 5 for sponsoring this video. You can get yours too by clicking on the link in the description. Mwah! Don't forget to subscribe.